What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. So Android TV OS is now readily available. We've got four TV boxes on the table right now and they are all offering Android TV OS. I've already done full reviews of all of these boxes and I will leave the links in the description in case you missed them. So we've got the A box A4, A95X Pro, M8S Pro W and the M8S Pro L. Now all three of these boxes have exactly the same specs. S905 W Mali 450 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage you got Bluetooth in this model and these two do not have Bluetooth all three of these are exactly the same specs um, you've got slightly different designs so all three of these give the same performance except the new a box a4 actually comes with Bluetooth now the fourth box on the table is the M8S Pro L it's got an octa-core CPU with 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. Now the Pro L will give you double the performance. The performance is fast. It's noticeably faster than these three. And you're also getting double the storage and 1 gig of extra RAM. I believe this box also comes with Bluetooth. So these are all new 2018 devices and they are all running Google's Android TV OS. So there was definitely a demand for Android TV OS and these boxes will give you a much cheaper way of experiencing it. And prior to this, all we had was the NVIDIA Shield and the Xiaomi Box. Now the Xiaomi Mi Box also has Android TV OS, but at the back you can see you're quite limited with ports and it only has 8 GB of storage. If you compare this box to, you can see straight away that you've got much more connections, USB and a micro SD card. So you've got double the storage capacity and double the expansion as well. Now these four boxes will give you Netflix in HD and YouTube in 4K. Whereas the Xiaomi box will give you 4K Netflix and 4K YouTube. So all of these TV boxes also come with remote controls that have built in microphones and support voice search functions. So all of these TV boxes come with a voice remote control as standard. Now they all have built in microphones. And this is what the remote controls look like. So these two boxes at the end have exactly the same remote control built-in microphones and voice search functionality. So all four of these TV boxes have more or less the same connections and the same ports etc. However, the two Mikul boxes do not have any sort of digital audio output. So there is no SPDIF port anywhere. All you've got is an AV port at the end, but there is no SPDIF digital outputs. So that doesn't mean you're not going to get your 5.1 surround sound. You can still get surround sound from your HDMI connection. Now these two boxes do have your digital SPDIF connections so you can hook this up to your music system. All of these boxes are Android tvOS boxes and they are all priced under $100. So if you didn't want to spend $200 on an Nvidia Shield TV then here are your options. So there you have it guys that was a quick roundup of the official Android tvOS boxes currently available and uh, all the prices and all the links are in the description box below in case you want to check any of these out. Um, they're all great boxes and Google Android TV OS does give you a very nice experience. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.